Andrew, the Fed continues to delay additional rate hikes, and they recently lowered their longer-term expectations. What's Vanguard's outlook for the U.S. economy, and what do we expect from the Fed in the near term and in the longer term? So, Noni, despite recent volatility, right, Brexit included in that, uh, our, our outlook for the economy hasn't really changed much since the, uh, the end of last year. We still see growth of around 2%. Uh, maybe Brexit drags that down by let's call it 10 basis points or so um, at the high end. But for the most part, it, it remains very much the same. 2% growth, inflation continuing to trend back towards 2%. I would say that in, in terms of, of the, the U.S. economy, uh, clearly the, the strength of the labor market uh, is, is been, the progress in the labor market has been significant. Uh, for all intents and purposes, we are pretty much uh, uh, what we could define as full employment. Um, including uh, definitions of unemployment that, that uh, are, are broader uh, than just people looking for a job, people that have been on the sidelines of the labor market have been coming back in. Um, so clearly in terms of, of Fed policy, the macro fundamentals of the, U of the U.S. economy are, are strong enough to uh, basically keep the Fed moving in terms of rate hikes. But the Fed, even since last year, the Fed has been considering very strongly um, also the global de developments. And with the Brexit shock, as Andrew was pointing out, is, is, is this being one of those significant events that leads to the Fed to be very cautious um, against tail risks, um, uh, even though the, the domestic economy is strong. So because of the Brexit shock, because of the Fed approach to, uh, to uh, ponder global developments like this, uh, we see the Fed pushing out the uh, scale of rate hikes, even beyond what you would tell from, from looking at just the U.S. economy numbers alone, uh, perhaps into December, perhaps even into the first quarter of 2017, um, as we consider also that we have U.S. elections coming up in the, in the third quarter, right? So those are, are uh, other key considerations in addition to the strength of the U.S. economy that the Fed needs to take into account.